In this video, I'm going to show you how to use AI to automatically turn a tutorial YouTube video into a blog post. And this is a real workflow that we use for ourselves at Related App. So I record a lot of tutorial videos like this one that showcase a UK use case or a particular feature. And a lot of people like to watch that on YouTube so they can see exactly everything I'm clicking on and what I'm saying as I go. But many others prefer to read it as a blog post with static images. And it's actually kind of a lot of work to remake the same content a second time from a video into a blog post. So what we built is a workflow in Related App that automatically takes the audio track of the video and turns it into a blog post. Let me show you how we do it. So first, here's the core setup we have in Google Drive. We have an audio files folder, which is where we store the audio component of every YouTube video we create. We use a video production tool called DaVinci Resolve, and it has an option that when you render the full video, you can also render just the audio as an MP3. So we upload that to Google Drive. Then we have a relay.app workflow that does the following. Every time a file is added to that audio files folder, we use OpenAI Whisper to transcribe that audio into text, and then we create a transcript document in our transcripts folder. So it includes the same videos as appear in the audio files folder I just showed, but this time with the text transcript instead of the raw audio file. So let me show you an example. I just published a web scraping video. Here's the web scraping audio as an MP3. And then here is the web scraping transcript where you can see it's a full Google doc just with no formatting, just the raw text of everything I said in that video jammed together. So that's the setup. Now the interesting part is what I'm gonna show you next, which is how to turn that audio transcript into a blog post. And we're gonna do that with a separate related app workflow. This is the main related app workflow I wanted to showcase. So every time a file is added to that transcripts folder, we have an AI step that uses Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which I found in my personal testing to be the best blog post drafter to turn that into the text of the blog post. Here's the full prompt. And we actually got to this prompt using the Anthropic prompt generator, which uh, I have a separate video that showed. So here's the prompt. You are tasked with creating a blog post based on a tutorial video. Your goal is to transform the spoken content into a well-structured, engagingly written piece that captures the essence of the tutorial. And then you can see in our prompt that we have a bunch of other guidance for the AI, like make sure to analyze the transcript in its entirety, create a nice outline for the blog post, write an engaging in introduction, develop the main sort of step-by-step -step content, which is the core of the blog post, uh, then craft a conclusion, and then it also includes some guidance on the tone, like use a conversational tone, break longer paragraphs into shorter, more digestible chunks, and then finally add a CTA at the end. And then I included some basic information about the format I want the, the, the blog post produced. And um, uh, I also want an SEO blurb that we're gonna put into our content management system. And then in addition to this prompt, I pass in the file from our trigger as context. Remember that file is the transcript of the full audio recording. And then the AI is gonna output a title of the blog post, an SEO blurb like I asked for, and then the full text of the blog post. Then in the subsequent automation, step three, it's gonna turn that into a blog post document with the appropriate title. And then finally, I have a human in the loop task, which is to go to Sanity, which is our content management management system, and upload that blog post to our blog. So let me show you uh, how this works in action, and I'm gonna do it for uh, that web scraping example that I showed you before. So I'm gonna start a test run. I'm gonna use the web scraping transcript, and you're gonna see what happens as we go. So you can see I triggered this run manually based on that web scraping transcript. It's now, Claude is now thinking and drafting the blog post. For a transcript of this size, this usually takes somewhere between five and 10 seconds. It's not as difficult as transcribing the 26 page meeting notes uh, transcript I showed in a previous video, but it's also not instantaneous. Okay, so that's done, probably took about 20 seconds. You can see it used 35 AI credits and it's now writing that blog post into a Google Doc. Let's look at the Google Doc and see how well the AI did. So you can see there's a nice SEO blurb, learn how to automate web scraping using related app to collect and organize AI related articles. Pretty good blurb. And then here's the blog post. 
a nice introduction with a hook, a really clear step-by-step um, -step guide. Notice that it's smart about knowing when I want to put a screenshot in the blog post because I asked it in the prompt, like put in a screenshot when relevant. It does a really nice job laying out the step-by-step -step of the use case, summarizing the use case when the workflow is complete, adding a few extra tips, giving some additional suggestions, and then giving a final call to action. And as you can see, this is actually a pretty darn good blog post. I might edit it a little bit um, in the human in the loop task that follows, which is why I have this you know, human in the loop task to review the blog post before it's fully posted. But I ended up posting almost that identical content on our blog for this exact use case. So this is not just a hypothetical, it's something I actually do multiple times a week. So if you make videos, whether they're tutorials or some other format of video, and you wanna also produce a blog post or other web content based on that video, this is a really easy way to do it. I hope you find that useful and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.